Hello and welcome to The New Normal with Steve Benequist. With The New Normal. With Steve Benequist. With The New Normal with Steve Benequist. I'm New Normal and this is The Steve Benequist. Well, let's get right into the mailbag, shall we? Uh, first up, we have Leonora in Hidden Hills. Leonora says, Dear Steve, I love, love, love the new normal with Steve Benequist. Thank you. Uh, I was checking my diary, and it seems to me that this is the first anniversary of the new normal with Steve Benequist. Woot, woot, as the kids say. By the way, don't say first year anniversary. You'll sound like a dull clod slash idiot, as Anna in anniversary already means year. Every anniversary means there's been a turning at the year point of some event. Don't sound like a dummy, Steve, if you can help it, winky face. (laughs) Thanks for the tip. Uh, I thought it would be real special uh, if you were to celebrate your first year. Perhaps, and I'm just suggesting here, put on the suit, tie, and shirt again. Have a motorcycle pass outside while you're reading. Uh, get back in the studio, comb your hair real nice, and maybe talk in that professional-sounding news anchor voice that lends so much credibility to the proceedings. However you decide to do it, Steve, congrats on one year, and looking forward to the next year, or 57, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Leonora. Maybe I'll be alive in 57 years, I don't know, and maybe I'll still be doing this. I just don't know. Maybe, maybe, but, um, but... If you'll notice the stunning coincidence, great minds think alike, because here I am in the jacket, shirt, and tie, and in the studio with the lighting system, the sound system, and the air of the new normal studio, which we've revamped a bit. I hope you like what we've uh, done with the place. Um, So, yes, we will be looking back today um, on the first year of the new normal, and we'll be looking forward just a little bit. Um, Not all in today's episode. This won't be that long. There are changes coming to the show, and among them are that the episodes will be well under 15 minutes, which they've been lately. Uh, Don't cry, don't cry. They're still coming. But we're going to look back, and uh, and Leonora, I'm sorry, but there's one thing that I may not do, and that is talk in the professional-sounding news anchor voice that you've come to know with the news cadence that hides my real feelings about that tanker spilling and killing thousands and thousands of birds or whatever sad news I'm talking about, because um, I'm going to talk about what it was like for me and for you, the viewer, in the world. What was it like one year ago, May 14th, when I was taping episode one of The New Normal with Steve Benequist? Now, um, yes, the show started with a pun. The title came to me about a month before, and I was thinking, aha, I should do a show. It's like a fake news show, only the news that I'm talking about, relying on my Years of stand-up experience would be to talk about the new normal we're all going through every day at noon, or what I didn't know it was going to be daily. It took me a while to figure that out. But uh, at noon, put it out at noon, be catchy, be cute. And um, and uh, what was the normal? It was, the new normal was a phrase being thrown around by desperate news anchors. Desperate, like a polar bear on a piece of ice that it's hopping from one to the next, getting smaller and smaller, to declare something was normal. But the world was extremely abnormal. Um, In mid-May of 2020, we were just, just coming out of the first wave of the pandemic, which had devastated the Northeast. There were still refrigerator trucks full of dead bodies outside of mortuaries in New York and New Jersey, which had lost tens of thousands of people each. And and we were all cowering at home watching the 24-hour news cycle on 20 different news stations, and uh, reading doom scrolling through our feeds and uh, and looking for what was going on. We had daily presidential news conferences where he got out in front of his scientists and um, said the opposite of what they were saying or didn't agree with them or offered his own very inexpert opinion with the now infamous suggestions that we inject ourselves with bleach or perhaps find a way of getting light into the bloodstream to kill the virus. Um, and this is all while George Floyd was still alive. So it was still bloody awful. And there we were sitting at home, listening to these anchors throw the word new normal around. And I came up with this idea 
But when it came time to tape the first episode on a Thursday night, I was, uh, I didn't even know exactly what I was going to do, but uh, I had decided then that I would say my name a lot. Oh, well, let's just watch a little bit, and then we'll discuss. Hello and welcome to The New Normal with Steve Beniquist. I'm Steve Beniquist. Welcoming you to The New Normal with Steve Beniquist. I'm Steve Beniquist, and this is The New Normal with Steve Beniquist. With the new normal. With Steve Beniquist. With the new normal. With Steve Beniquist. This is Steve Beniquist with the new normal. With Steve Beniquist. With the new normal. With Steve Beniquist. I'm new normal. And this is the Steve Beniquist. So, I'm not playing the whole 90 seconds, but I do encourage you to take that minute and a half if you want to catch it in its entirety. All the first episodes are very short. Uh, yeah, I say my name a lot. I get caught up in the elliptical nature of the title, which includes my name and uh, like an idiot. And I, uh, what I realized was everyone was discussing what the new normal was. And whatever I added, uh, maybe we needed a break from that. Maybe you'd rather spend time with a guy who looks like he's going to tell you some news but in fact, as it happened over the uh, weeks and months, goes gradually insane and never does quite deal with what's happening in the real world for about six months. Um, that was a fun process. I really, from week to week, didn't know how, uh, when I would turn the corner and uh, it became more difficult as the weeks went by to think that I ever would talk about real current events. Um, but I put it out on a Friday, episode one, not knowing, I thought maybe it would be weekly, and over that weekend, I thought, aha, if I string that joke out a little while that I haven't decided what's going on, it can be daily. And thus it became. Anyway, uh, I did promise that these new episodes are going to be shorter. Promise slash threaten? Maybe you wouldn't like that? In any case, um, you've got 117 old episodes to go back and look at. But um, I'm not going to cram everything into this one. We're, uh, I'm going to string out the remembrance, look at some of the other early episodes. So the episodes are going to be shorter. They may not come out on Fridays. It might be a little more staggered whenever I'm feeling it, but still frequently. Please do subscribe. Please like us, but subscribe so that you get the episodes when they do come out, in case you don't happen to be looking at my Twitter feed at that time or Facebook page. Hit subscribe on the YouTube that's the way. Then you get an email saying, there's a new one. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of things. We're going to have giveaways, give away some t-shirts, and uh, and who knows, maybe something more interesting. And, although, <laughs> what could be more interesting than a new normal t-shirt? You got me there. Anyway, um, that's it for this episode. We'll keep it short and sweet. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, your continued support, especially those who have given uh, money that really helps. Bought I have bought new equipment over this time, and uh, and thanks to Claudia so much for uh, so much feedback, so much listening, so much editing, and uh, I mean uh, helping me edit. I don't know. We have time for one more letter before we close out this episode, and that is from Pat in Flat Plains, Kansas. Thank you, Pat. Till next time, when we talk about Lyle Gerber, De Howard, and Butt Guillaume. Until then, I'm Steve Beniquist, reminding you that if it ain't new, it ain't normal. <laughs>